Hi, my peepers. This is Shalene of the Color in Book Nook. And, oh my gosh, we're going to color. We're going to whip a whip and chat color. But I have a lot of things first I want to talk about. So, you know, I'm trying to use up notebooks. I am a stationary freak. Love paper, love notebooks, love pens, all that stuff. <laughs> I use it all so I had this little one I was using for playing games I think online games like Farmville and that and it's just been sitting around so I'm like I'm almost done watching movies on the DVR it might take me probably till the end of October and I just want to focus on my reading and my and live streams while I do my hobbies so I figured I can read in between live streams so this one here I've set up so here's Monday I'm I'm still learning who does live streams on what days I don't have it all down pat see if Tuesday I don't know a schedule yet Wednesdays um, so like Dee Dee's on Mondays Wednesdays and sometimes Fridays Wednesday night is Tia. So this is for coloring and diamond painting. Tia is a diamond painter. Um, I do have Shannon written down for Thursday. Wasn't sure. Um, Billy is um, a crafter. He does diamond painting. He's on Friday afternoons. For, and this is all my time, Eastern Standard Time. Mrs. Coffee's on at 10 p.m. Saturday, I do a Zoom craft chat with, oh my gosh, sometimes there's 12 of us. And at Saturday night is CBC Color and Book Club, and 11 is Jeremy. And then Sundays, it's full. So it varies. Um, I like Kale, and that's Kale's craft. She's on at 3 and um if there's nothing on there is one called cindy plant she's a planner she does live streams at 5 30. sunday night is crashly or sometimes i watch gemini which is mary and Tan Ta is it tanja or tanya and then diamond dave so i'm trying to do this up for that um and with Coco Daisy, every month you get a little pad of notebook, little pad of paper. So I was trying to figure out how to do it. So this is my to my to do list for the day. Um, today I changed all the melts in my warmers because it's Monday. I do that on Mondays. I vacuumed this morning all the rooms. I will be listening to Immortal Angel by Lindsay Sands. This is book number like 31 of a series. I read like number 27 and I really liked it. I, re I keep forgetting this is a series. I'm not going back. I don't have time to go back and read the whole series. And this is for um, a review. And then tonight I'll watch General Hospital, I'll watch a movie, and today I color every day, because I'm not babysitting right now, so I color, and every week it changes. Some weeks it's coloring, some weeks it's diamond painting, some weeks it's cross-stitching. So I do that from like 1 p.m. until 6 p.m., and then, no, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then 8 p.m. I switch to diamond painting. So usually what I do is I listen to books until 6 p.m. Then I hurry up and fix me something quick for dinner while I'm watching General Hospital. Then I go back and I continue to color. And then um, I watch a movie while I'm coloring unless it's 8 o'clock. Like I said, I switch to diamond painting at 8 o'clock. If I'm done with the movie, then I watch live streams or catch up on some videos. So that is how I am using my papers. It goes, it goes with me from room to room. I also was asked what picture I am going to be coloring for Spooktober on um, Saturday. 
So my artist that I was um, chosen to do, we were, um, I can't even think of the word I want. <laughs> I hate that. We were teamed up with an artist. Each each one of us was teamed up with an artist and we were given a couple different pictures. And so um, I chose to do this picture. It's called Morgane and it's by Mayumi Ogahara. I think that's how you say her name. I have this here because I don't want it to be copied. Um, I'm doing the grayscale picture and I am going to be using my luminance. This is bright white cardstock. I think it's 80 pound cardstock. So that's what I am doing. Also, I wanted to show you because I forgot to show yesterday when I did community news. This is the picture that Belinda from Color with Faithful Girl 1978 is doing for October. So if you want to do this along with her and you're in her Facebook group, you get a discount on this or you can just purchase it without the discount. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I forgot what she's using on it. So, yep, there is that. This is my project planner. So I have for September... These are the coloring books I wanted to color in in September for color lawns. Doesn't mean I'll get to all of them, but that was my goal. And so today we are going to be coloring in Autumn Dreamlands. And I already chose, but I chose Autumn Dreamlands and Autumn Magic is by Edwina Mc McNamee. And the, her coloring books are the ones that were chosen for a color lawn in my Facebook group. So it will count for that. I also picked a picture that has pumpkins, which will count for T's World of Adult Coloring. And it's a fall color lawn on Instagram and Nikki Spooky Season 2020. So I'm hoping to do that. Then I, I picked a picture in Autumn Magic, which will also count to my Facebook group. Also, it will count for Anxiety Art Adventures Facebook group because she's doing AAA Leaves 2020. Plus, it'll count again for Fall Color Lawn. Then, if I get a chance, I do want to color in a picture in Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls. Um, maybe a Pop Manga and maybe Romantic Country. I picked a picture. What did I pick? Because I have done it also counts as a fall color lawn. And I tried to pick pictures that won't take me a long time. Oh, yeah, this. So I'm counting this as fall because their leaves, I like the fall. You know, they're kind of, they'll be a brownish color. And you've got apples, and apples around here are in the fall. So this is going to count as fall. So, and it, this shouldn't take too long, but I've got three days. I got today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Tomorrow I am babysitting, so I probably won't get to all of these, but I'm going to try. And is this a picture? Yeah, this is the picture I want to do in Pop Manga. So, those are my goals. I'll show you the other pictures. Those are my goals today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. You know, and the Edwina McNamies, they're going to go pretty quick because I'm using markers as a base. So, this is the other picture I'm doing out of this one, out of Magic. I don't know if I've colored in this one yet. It might be able to count as color your hoard. So I'm going to have to go through this again. I don't have it written down, so maybe I did color in here. Hmm. I didn't. Wait. No, I haven't colored in this one yet. So, oh yes, I did. There, three years ago. So, yeah. That's that and then the picture 
that I chose for Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls is this one. And I believe this is called Hannah. That one called Hannah. I believe. Yep. This one's called Hannah. So this is the one I want to do in this. So I picked pictures that, you know, especially if I do marker base coats, markers for base coat in like these three books. I can't in the Pop Manga and the Romantic Country because those are double-sided. And I use alcohol markers. So that is my goal for the next three days for coloring. So we will start this. And so today I, hold on, let me put my books away. Whoop, almost fell. <laughs> yeah, like I need to do that. Um, I don't have a lot of room up here because look. <laughs> yeah, that's usually where I have the pencil cases up there when I color. So all the rooms, let's see, the family room, the kitchen, the bathroom, all have pumpkin-scented melts going in the warmers. They are by Scentsy. I bought a pumpkin lover's bundle from Scentsy. And so that's what's going in there. I have a baked apple pie or something from mm, Victoria's something. Um, that's in the living room. My bedroom has, I forgot what's in there. I forgot what's in my bedroom going in here is Harvest by Free Rain Farm. You see that? Free Rain Farm. I like theirs. They're nice. It smells really good in here. So I bought, I had seen them. I think they were advertised. I can't remember if I saw these advertised on Facebook or if someone that I watch who does, um, I watch a few people who do the unboxings and what melts they're using. I might have seen it on there. This smells really, really good. Yeah. So that's what's all going through my house. Smells like fall. Smells like fall. So we are coloring this picture. I have my markers out. I think because I'm doing the black background, I cannot do black bats or you are not going to see them. I think I'm going to do them in a purple glitter gel pen just so that they'll stand out. But yeah, I figured I'll just do a base with the markers and then I can do shading with my pencils. And the pencils that I chose are the Pring. They're Pring. And I bought two boxes of praying. I bought the large box. The largest size does not have the color names on them. This size did. I don't know why they, they come from the same place. Why they can't have the names on all of them. Anyways, let's start with the pumpkins. So I'm using my Prismacolor or Premier markers. And I'm going to find some orange. And... It'll be either a really light orange or a yellowish. Maybe I'll use this. This is Spanish orange. And I think what I'm going to do is just scribble on here. Okay. See, that's not too dark. So, um, yeah. So, I did a live impromptu live stream yesterday. And it worked amazingly. The um, internet cooperated. I've missed talking to you guys. I don't know how well this is going to work because it has the black on the back. 
page. I have definitely missed all of you. The um, Spectrum, which is a cable company, has put the lines all down our road, but they're not hooked up to the houses yet. And I don't know if they're burying the lines or bringing them to the house. I think they bury the lines. So I'm still waiting word from them. But yeah, I've um I've set aside pretty much my Sundays to watch live streams it gives me a break from reading now this weekend is spooktober and I I will be I'm going to try to make every live stream now, the day that I stream is Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I looked up the weather. It's going to be in the 50s, and it says mostly sunny. So, hopefully the internet will be really good. I'm still trying to get the new cats to come out. For those of you that weren't in my live stream, I lost Ruby two weeks ago. Her cancer really took off like you would not believe. Even if we had decided to have her glands removed and chemo she would have never made it to the date of the surgery for that because it just took up right off um she's my baby i know you guys all say pearl's my baby pearl is pearl is mine <laughs> pearl is my she's my baby girl but ruby is or Ruby was my baby. I've always treated her like a baby, even though she was 10 years old. So I was having a really, really rough time with her being gone. And then, not this past Saturday, the Saturday before, all of a sudden, outsider had organ failure so we had to have him put down so you know we lost to molly in march so it has not been a good year for my pets and rascal he's 16 you know i don't know you never know Molly was 14. She might have been older because we don't know what was wrong with her. The vets ran all kinds of tests. So she might have just died of old age. Um, and Outsider was 17. And he was an indoor-outdoor cat. He's the only one of ours that went outside. So... My sister-in-law and brother-in-law are moving to Tennessee. And they're trying to find a house down there. But the houses are selling as fast as they go up for sale. So she 
is in between homes because they haven't found one down there yet and their house got sold and she has two 13 year old cats they're females they're spayed they're indoors and she was searching for a home for them and she couldn't find a home for them and she's gonna be staying with her daughter or they are, I should say. They they are staying with their daughter. She, They're thinking about moving to Tennessee and renting a place until they can buy. But until then, they are stuck in a rock and a hard place. And so they were looking for a home for their cats. So I told Scott... Let's take the cats in. They don't know us. And they're kind of skittish. My sister-in-law said that, okay, we got apples there, that they hide in her bedroom during the day, and then at night they come out, and they're lovey. They like to lay in your laps. And they like to sleep with them at night. So I'm like, okay. I said, I'm not worried about my dog. I'm not worried about Rascal. I wasn't sure how Pearl would handle this. So we brought them home Saturday afternoon. Saturday night, and they went right to my bedroom. It's like they knew where the bedroom was, radar. <laughs> and they went behind the bed. They can't go under my bed. I have an old um, water bed frame, and they are, it's a pedestal with drawers on each side. The two, there's three drawers on each side. So they hid under there. And then during the night, I heard meowing, and the orange and white one, who is, her name is Allie, she let me pet her, and then she went down the hall. And then I heard meowing, and Blitz is the calico. She was down there. She wanted to be pet, so I loved her up a little bit. And then I put her nose to nose with Daenerys and set her on the bed. And she, she stayed up there for a couple minutes. She didn't stay long. Then she went back down. Um, and that's what happened Saturday night. So yesterday I get up and the first thing I do is I come in here. turn on my laptop and I check my phone because my phone is left in here during the night. So, and Pearl came up here, jumped on the table. I heard her hiss and I looked down and Allie had come in here. So I pet her and then because Pearl was hissing at her, she took off and I said, well, I got to feed them anyways. So I put, and I, Brenda gave me food for her cats, what she had left. So I put those that in bowls. She looked at it. She wouldn't eat it. Um, Pearl was eating, so Allie wandered down the hall, and then Pearl kind of swatted her one. And so Allie went back in my bedroom. So when Scott came home yesterday, he's like, where are the cats? And I said, they're, behind, they're under the headboard. And he said, no, they're not. So he went looking for them, and they're now under my dresser. <gasps> I'm so tired of that dog barking. Let me go see what she's barking at. Hold on. I don't know what she's barking at. I don't see anything out there. <laughs> it's 
stupid dog. Okay. <clears throat> so, you could see them under the dresser. You really can't reach them. I'm like, how did they get under the dresser? Because there's not much space under it from the front. And they're not small cats. And Scott said, oh, they went behind the dresser and there's a, you can, they can get under it better from the back part of the dresser. So that's what they did. So they've been there since. Um, Blitz came out last night while we were sleeping. I heard her meow and she was up on the dresser. So I turned on the light and I was petting her and I said, okay, let's see if I can get you to eat because they still hadn't eaten anything. Let's do these pumpkins. So I went to go get the food and she saw Scott laying there and she jumped down and took off back underneath the dresser and they she wouldn't come out and I haven't seen Allie since yesterday morning now today is Monday it's quarter after one in the afternoon and I still have not seen Allie since yesterday morning they're eating because I put their food under the dresser but it's under it just enough where I can reach the dishes so I can pull them in and out so I told Scott we really really want to make this work I have to remember that my sister-in-law told me that they hide all day long for her and they don't come out until nighttime or they don't hide but they stay in her bedroom all day they don't ever come out except to use a litter box so I don't even know if they're doing that So for I told Scott starting today so he we we cleaned up a section by the dresser which it had like a suitcase sitting there and a pile of blankets. So I moved those we put the litter box one so we have three litter boxes so we put one there and We'll leave my bedroom door open during the day, but when I go to bed, I'm going to close it and just, and for just this week, just for a week, I think that's all we'll need is just the week. Um, we're going to leave Daenerys and Pearl out of our room at night, which they're not going to be happy. But you see where Pearl was sleeping. This is where she is all the time. She's getting a ton of attention so that she knows we still love her. And so her bent nose won't be too bad. I just feel bad that they're in the bedroom. But Scott says you got to remember... This is what they did at Brenda's house. You know, they're 13 years old. That's the only home they've had. And if that's what they've done all the time, that's not going to change. I am not used to that. My cats have always been out and about. They, you know, they're in our lap all during the day. Um, Pearl's always here on the table if I'm in here. So it's just, it's a big adjustment for me. And I have to keep telling myself they are not doing this to avoid us this is what they did so i told scott we'll keep the door closed at night so that pearl and um daenerys can't well rascal sometimes came in too but we're going to keep it closed just so they get used to us and being around us 
but this way the doors open during the day so if they want to come out they can they seem fine with me but they're real skittish around Scott so I think it's just gonna take a little time and I have all the time. As, and Scott says he doesn't care how long this takes as long as they're eating. He says that's the only thing. If they don't eat, he says he's going to have to call his sister. Because she told us, do not be afraid to call me if this doesn't work out. And my friends who've known me for years will tell you I am like a cat whisperer. And I have had friends that tell me their cats are not friendly. Um, they don't like people, strangers. And I go in their homes and their cats curl up on me. So, yeah, not too worried about it. I just want them to come out of hiding. I don't want them to feel like they have to hide. You know, there's they're 13 years old I still want them to have a good life for the next couple years I like this I'm glad I did the coat the base with marker first so have any of you experienced something like this how did it work out do you have any suggestions for me? And I only want suggestions from people that have done this because if you haven't, um, I know your intentions are good, but it's kind of hard to tell somebody unless you say, well, try this. It's like my sister never had children and a couple times she tried to tell me how to do things. No, you don't do that when you don't have children. She tried telling me a couple times, and I turned around and told her she could leave. It's like a child psychologist telling you stuff, and they don't have children. <laughs> no, that don't work with me. Doesn't that fly with me? You have no clue. Yeah, maybe you're book smart, but you have no clue. And each child is different. It's like each cat is different. And that's what I have to keep telling myself. All of my cats I have ever had have never hidden in a bedroom. <laughs> They've always been out with us. It's never been an issue. And all of mine liked my boys when they were growing up. They don't like my grandchildren. And that was the other thing. These cats um, didn't like She's, what'd she say? They didn't like the kids being in their faces. I go, that's okay, because neither do my cats. They don't like my grandsons being in. In fact, Pearl hears their voices and she runs and hides. And she won't come out until they leave. So, it's going on. The weather here has been amazing. It has been in the 70s and 80s. Sunny. The leaves are changing color. It is gorgeous. And so, yesterday, I said to Scott, let's go. When you get out of work from the gas station, can we go for a car ride? Because... Almost every Sunday, if he's not working at his other job, he wants to go for a car ride. But he always asks me after we've had dinner. Well, my body doesn't always agree with dinner. And sometimes I have IBS issues. Well, a lot of times I do. And I don't ever know when it's going to kick in. So I always tell him, no, I'm not going for a car ride because I don't know how many times we'll have to stop. So yesterday when I was in my live stream, 
I knew that we were going to be going for the car ride. So I didn't eat anything or drink anything for a couple hours before we left. So I had, I had messaged him at the gas station, can we go for a car ride today? And he says, which car? I'm like, the hell kind of question is that? I have a 2007 Scion TC. I absolutely love my car. It has 150,000 miles on it. It still runs like a top. <clears throat> love my car. He has a 2014 Camaro. Well, what do you think? He knew he was being a smart ass. And he doesn't like taking my car lawn anyways. It hurts his back. He was just being a smart ass. So he says, what car are we taking? I'm like, yeah. The how kind of question is that? I says, oh, and for your information. Because <laughs> he likes country music. I said, we're not listening to country music in the freaking Camaro. It's supposed to be rock music in a Camaro. <laughs> so and so he came back well that's fine but we're not having air conditioning we're having the windows down which I never do I always have the air conditioner on because my hair is so baby fine that it gets knotted very very bad so I'm like that's fine I'll just put it up in a clip a hair clip so I did we had the windows down it was gorgeous out and he is serious on the car. So we were listening to Classic Rewind. Most of the time it was on Classic Rewind. Um, a few times it was on Pop Rocks because I love that station. And I think he had it on 80s on 8 for a couple songs. But most of the time it was on Classic Rewind. And we were we took all... We took main roads, but they were country roads, and the the leaves are changing. It was just beautiful out there, and we never had to stop. We were gone almost two hours. I didn't have to go and use a restroom anywhere. It was perfect. I think he was surprised we didn't have to stop. <laughs> I miss us doing that. We haven't done that in a long time. I said, if we do this again before the Camaro gets put away for storage, then I want to head north more and go head up towards, like, um, the Thousand Islands in that way. And maybe go on a Saturday and go earlier the day make a day of it and then I would need to use restroom but that's okay because things are open to back up to use restrooms like in the McDonald's and stuff but yeah the weather was just perfect Perfect. So then we came home and I fixed a pork tenderloin and we had broccoli with cheese. And I sat in the bedroom for about an hour between live streams. I took the Kindle in with me just to see and I closed the bedroom door just to see if the cats would come out and they didn't you know and I kept calling them and you know using the little kitty voice come out so I just have to keep remembering her cats didn't come out for her during the day they always stayed in her room I'm not used to that so for me it's odd But this has helped me take my mind off of 
outsider and Ruby in helping me through this transition in my life right now. Which I think is a good thing. I would love to do more live streams while I'm not babysitting. I would like to do like a live stream every morning, but I don't want to step on anybody's toes. Either that or like this time of day, like from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock maybe. But I'm thinking... Because I'm no longer taking care of Ruby and spending all the time that I could with her, I've got extra time now that um, you'll probably, I'm thinking of doing videos like this every day, showing you what's going on during the day, um, what I'm reading, what I read the day before, what movie I watched. I'll tell you what movie I watched the night before. You know, just what's going on in my life. Right now, I'm not very happy with the postal service. They've been holding on to my Coco Daisy boxes. And they're subscription boxes, and it's for my planner. And how do you use them once they do come in? If they're like a month late, you know, it's going to say October on it, and I'm not going to get it till November. It's been two weeks since they had my October box. It's been a week since they've had my Halloween box. Because the Halloween was separate. And it's just sitting there in the Rochester Distribution Center. So I contacted USPS about it. And they're denying having it. They're saying that Coco Daisy never shipped it out. And I'm like, no, I tracked it. I can see it online. It says that it's at the USPS Distribution Center in Rochester. They're lying. So then they asked me to do a survey on their service. I don't think they'll like the survey. <laughs> it was not good. I said in there, I can understand that they're a little slower because of covid but to hold on to packages for two weeks is a little much. And I don't like being lied to. Okay, do I want a darker or is that good? How about, what's this one? This is a red orange, just a little bit. So I had lunch before I started this. Finished the pork tenderloin and had some cottage cheese. I've been losing weight just a little bit. Like three to four weeks, I was at the same exact weight. Was not moving no matter what I did. This time I lost another two pounds. So it's just taking its jolly old time. I don't know why. Unless it's stress. <laughs> there is so many color lawns and diamond painting the lawns and collaborations going on. So next year 
I already know one starting in January. I don't know the date of the one. So Wolfpack Diamond Painting is doing a Wolfalon Diamond Painting. So any picture with a wolf in it. And I am doing a Alice Alon. So it'll probably say, probably be hashtag Alice Alon 2021. So that starts January 1st until the last day of March. And it's coloring or diamond painting, anything that has to do with Alice in Wonderland. Oh, I like that. Also, don't forget that, and I need to make a video for that. October 1st through the 31st is Carloween 2020. And it's with Kate's Color in Haven. And it's coloring any pictures from Carla Majana's coloring books. Any of her coloring books, it does not have to be a Halloween picture. Just any picture from any of her coloring books. else going on not much else I got got my Halloween stuff out I'll decorate it up today I have laundry going as well so when I'm done with this video I will continue coloring and listening to my book sometimes my videos might only be a half an hour long I mean I have much to say but I thought this would be fun just a little color and chat and what's going on if you watching this and you have a specific day and time that you live stream let me know I'll write it down in my little book I hear a bird out there singing. So tomorrow I do have to babysit. She has an appointment. And I think Dylan's going to go look for a new truck. Because his lease is up. So I have to be there at 8 o'clock. So I don't know if I'll get a video up till later in the day. Wednesday I have a nail appointment in the afternoon. some shadow behind that pumpkin I 
Yep, and then I got the live streams all weekend to watch and color. And all of a sudden, I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't sleep well because of the cats. You know, I kept, I thought I kept hearing them meowing and I wanted to... make sure that if they wanted out that Pearl was going to leave them alone. So I'm not sleeping as well. I think it'll be better once, like starting tonight, I'm going to keep the door closed. It'll work. I told Scott it's got to work because his sister says if it doesn't, let her know, but... I don't want her to have to worry about the cats. She's already worried that she'll be stepping on her daughter's toes and in the way. Okay, so there's the pumpkins for that part. Let's see. Apples. Apples, apples, apples. wonder how well these pencils will just work without the marker base. Might be okay. So what are you all working on? Have you started any Halloween pictures already? Let's see. Yeah, I want to do that. Have you been doing any color lawns? I know when I'm done with this, I'll do the other one and I still have to see what color lawns are going on in October. And if you have any color lawns, let me know. You can comment below or email me. What do you think about this picture? Think it's okay. It is so nice out. It's supposed to be what? High of let's see. So I write the weather for the day. Today is supposed to be a high of seventy eight. So yeah. And I think I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm getting sleepy. I don't wanna take a nap. 
I wanted to listen to my book and color. Maybe I need some caffeine. I think I'll make me a cup of iced tea. So what I'll do. I'll ha make a pitcher of iced tea. Stay awake. Although I do have to go to bed at a reasonable hour tonight because I have to be up tomorrow to babysit. And I haven't had to set an alarm clock for a long time. <laughs> Okay, so these pencils work okay in this book, especially working over the marker base. I don't really use these. They're not my favorites. I bought them. Why did I buy them? Because of tea? I believe it was because of tea. I think she used them in one of her pictures that she did of a color along so I bought them Hear the bird. Don't know what he's doing. That is it for today, my peepers. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. I'm going to continue working on this for the rest of the day. And then start another picture. And then at 8 o'clock, diamond paint. I will talk to y'all later. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye-bye.